We take senior dogs from shelters and we pay for all of their medical expenses for the rest of their life. It started very small. When we first started the project, it was with our local shelter. We said, hey, we want to give these packages to these senior dogs. But it grew and grew and grew to the point now where we, you know, we started taking dogs from shelters um, and all sorts of different different shelters all around the country. We have fosters and dogs from New York to California and one in Canada. Now, six years later, we've saved 500 dogs. Moses, who um, was the reason we started the Mr. Moe Project, came to us when he kind of outstayed his time at the shelter. But Moses, like, just commanded a room. Valentine's Day of 2014, Moses started just to look real wobbly. And I said, you know what? I don't, I don't feel good about this at all. He had a spinal cord tumor, and they gave us four weeks with him. When we lost and we kind of talked to each other about senior dogs and how many dogs are purely at the shelter or um, even being, you know, put down because of cost. <laughs> we have such incredible supporters that really believe in what we stand for and that is to save senior dogs and give them what we call the best for the rest, which is that the best life for the rest of the time that they have with us. I think what, what people have noticed with us and shelters have noticed with us is we take dogs that other people won't take. You know, a $10,000 spinal surgery, as long as the dog is okay for it, we don't bat an eye at it. We get nervous about the cost, but that doesn't change that we are going to do it. There are plenty of times where we have to raise the money, we spend our own money. We sell anything that's not nailed down in our house. Which is all part of it. Seeing them from when they come out of the shelter, you see the picture, and then you see just how much life they have and how much love they have to give, it's incredible. And, and sometimes I don't think we really take time to understand it because it's always, there's no, always another dog, always another dog, and there's always going to be another dog. I feel like we're very lucky. Like, it, it's our passion, but it's also such a pleasant thing to be doing. We're just really blessed to be able to do this. Like, comment, and subscribe.